Hello world. Let's dive into today's search for clues, shall we? Oh marvelous news. The scientists at Castar have successfully played the ultimate game of Can you stand the heat? And one. Achieving nuclear fusion at temperatures that make the sun blush. A toasty 100 million degrees Celsius. How did this happen? Was it because the scientists accidentally spilled kimchi on the reactor? Or did they just get bored of K-pop and decide to channel their energy into something more explosive? Now, the real question is, did they break a sweat in the process? I mean, sustaining a fusion reaction for 30 seconds at those temperatures sounds like a cosmic barbecue. Were they wearing oven mitts or just casually sipping ice water? We need answers. But let's not get too carried away with the victory parade. What's the catch? Are we looking at a future where we can power our homes with miniature suns? Or is this just a high-stakes game of how hot can you go? With no practical applications? Benefits, you say? Well, if we can tame this ferocious fusion beast, we might just solve our energy crisis. Goodbye, fossil fuels. The possibilities are endless. And think about the job market. Fusion engineers will be the new rock stars. Move over, Elon Musk. And let's not forget the existential crisis of the sun itself. Is it feeling threatened by this human-made hotshot? Or is it secretly applauding our audacity? Look at them, trying to outshine me. Is it goodbye sunsets? Will fusion reactors will steal all the spotlight? Look, honey, it's not the sun. It's just our 10 gigawatt fusion plant. And forget about tanning. You'll either be pale or crispy. No in between. Kudos to the Kastar team for turning up the heat in the world of nuclear fusion. May your experiments continue to sizzle. And may we all benefit from this cosmic hot pot of innovation. It's about time. That was Anna Lexington with the news clues. And that's all the news for today. This has been News and Clues Broadcast. We hope you enjoyed the program. Please don't forget to join us next time. Have a pleasant day.